Western star Constance Towers talks working with John Wayne, William Holden in Horse Soldiers, pure luck. General Hospital star will be honoring William Holden at Gold Coast International Film Festival. Constance Towers has led a decades long career in Hollywood and her work is far from over. While many fans recognize her as vengeful Helena Cassadin on General Hospital the statuesque blonde originally lassoed in fame with two John Ford Westerns, The Horse Soldiers, 1959, and Sergeant Rutledge, 1960. In The Horse Soldiers she starred alongside heavy hitters John Wayne and William Holden, whom she still remembers fondly to this day. This year, the actress is poised to pay tribute to Holden, who died in 1981, at the Gold Coast International Film Festival, which will also include the late Oscar winner's partner, Stephanie Powers. Towers, 88, spoke to Fox News about being discovered, working with Wayne and Holden, how she coped with tragedy on set, as well as transforming into a villain. How did you get discovered as an actress? Constance Towers, oh gosh, that goes way back. I was born in a place called Whitefish, Montana, which is way up in the northwest corner of the state on the Canadian border. My family was all Irish immigrants. I was a first-generation American. They came to the United States through Philadelphia and saw signs that said, Irish need not apply. So the only jobs that they could find were railroad jobs. Whitefish was a housing town for the workers. And I was born there. You worked with both William Holden and John Wayne. What was your initial impression of them? Towers, that was my second movie, The Horse Soldiers. And the director was John Ford, the highly respected and famous Irish director. It was pure luck. I could hardly speak when I first met them. And yet they were both wonderful to me. John Wayne was as big as he was on the screen and he treated me like his little princess. William Holden was very private. But he was also a gentleman and very willing to help a newcomer. I was in total awe of working with these two stars, but they were both just wonderful. They both got along very well with each other too. Is it true that John Ford expected all the actors to be gentlemen and they weren't allowed to swear in front of the women on set? Towers, true. Women had his total respect. He never used bad language and didn't expect anyone else to do so either on his set. I don't think John Wayne would have used it anyway, but he didn't and neither did William Holden. But John Ford ran a very tight ship. He would stop production at 4 o'clock every day so we could all have tea with cookies. It was so dignified. One day, I asked him, why do you stop production? It costs money. He said, ah, I get more work out of everybody because by 4 o'clock everyone is tired. So you get a little sugar and then you'll get back on that high energy until 6 or 6 colon 30. There was a method to his madness. But it was a delightful set. There was a tragedy on set involving stuntman Fred Kennedy. What happened? Towers, I was riding side saddle and had to do a lot of my stunt work. But the insurance people from the studio always made sure their actors were safe. And so John Ford assigned two wonderful actors and stuntmen to be my protectors. Whenever I was on a horse, I had Slim Hightower on one side and Freddie Kennedy on the other. They were the two cutest men you'd ever seen. They played tricks on me and they just had fun. How did you all cope at the time? Towers the company gathered all of these toys and silly things from the set. We went to the grocery stores and bought staples like lard, sugar, flour, milk and water. We took it to the black family that had been in the film with us. I remembered there was no flooring in the house. They had a horse, a cow and maybe some chickens. We also gathered enough money to buy them a bell for their little Baptist church. There were crowds of people in town who were upset about us doing this. You had to remember the time this took place. You just didn't do that for people of color in those days. So our company left in a hurry. But it was a beautiful experience for us together as a group during this very sad time. You later found fame in soap operas thanks to General Hospital. How does it feel to play a villain? 
Towers, the role was originated by Elizabeth Taylor. So when I was offered the part, I went to my drama coach and said, I don't know how to do this. I've always played the purest heroine. But my character is over the top. So I went over the top. And it was so successful. I enjoy her. What was the secret behind your lasting marriage with John Gavin? Towers, we really loved each other. For a long time, I was in New York and he was in California. So we commuted before we got married. He had two children, I had two children and we blended our families. And they just love each other. I always recognized his ex-wife and she was fabulous. His children accepted me with no guilt. Just love. What has kept you going as a performer? Towers, for any performer really, it's the love of what you do. And I have such a passion for performing. I just feel so fortunate that I've had so many years in this business and can bring something new to it. That has kept me going and I'm just so delighted. But it's a passion and enjoyment. People often ask me, well, aren't you going to retire? And I can't imagine my life without some form of performance. So my answer is always, no, I'm not thinking of retiring because I wouldn't know what to do.